What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about my favorite thing in the division and that is survival. As most of you know, I currently hold the record at 31,212. That is the highest score in the game right now in survival in PvP mode. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to teach you some of the tricks and tips that I have that I use for myself and I teach the people that I play with in survival. This is a score that I got on that run. It is the highest in the game right now. So make sure to pay attention and hopefully this video will help you out with some of the tips and tricks that I use in the game to get these high scores and hopefully you can have a chance to get something as high as that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully you enjoy the video let's get on with it all right so the very first thing that we want to talk about is the virus filter crafting the virus filter crafting is the most basic and most essential thing that you need in this game mode as soon as you get the basic virus filter I would highly recommend getting the advanced virus filter that way you can go into the contaminated areas including the ones in the dark zone sooner the basic virus filter is what is required to go into the dark zone, making it the most basic of all things to craft in survival mode. The advanced virus filter is optional, you can do it later, however, I always get it right at the exact same time because it requires not that much more. The basic virus filter requires two blue fabric and two blue tools, and the advanced requires one blue fabric and one blue tool. So the very next thing that we want to take a look at is entering the Dark Zone or Dark Zone Entered as it said on the scorecard. This is a very easy thing to complete as all you need to do is craft you a basic virus filter. I do recommend getting the advanced but only the basic is required which is two blue fabric, two blue tools. Once you have that crafted, all you need to do is find an entrance to the DZ, run up to it, jump up on the ledge or on the car and then press action button and enter into the DZ. Once you have entered into the DZ, you will be able to run around and look for the antivirus, start collecting survival caches, and get a lot better gear. You will also know that the objective has been complete as it will pop up on your screen letting you know that that objective is complete as you can see right here, and then it will tell you what your next thing to do is. Moving on to the very next thing is the flare gun crafted. Now the flare gun is required in order to extract so it is a very necessary piece of gear to acquire. It requires one gold division tech and two gold weapon parts. Very easy to come by. All you really need to do is find one of the division tech boxes and you are good to go with that. It's a very basic and it is a required thing to do in order to extract from the dark zone, complete the mission, and even get a high score, let alone, like I said, complete it. Now the next thing we want to talk about is antivirals retrieved. Now this is an optional objective, however, it is required for going for a high score. Sometimes you can get the antivirals and go and extract instantly, however, if you're going for score, you want to get your antivirals and keep killing. Now your antivirals can spawn anywhere from DZ1 all the way up to DZ6. They can be at numerous locations, normally they are at landmarks such as the one right here. Now. When you get your antivirals, you'll notice that you automatically get a free division tech, which is great. Now, if you are with a team, they can all pick up the division tech as long as they are within a close proximity, which is very, very helpful to the rest of your team. Getting your antivirals is a very necessary thing that you need to complete in order to get a high, high score. Now, the next thing that we're going to discuss is kind of a three for one. Extraction completed. Hunter defeated and extracted with chopper. These three all combine after you call in an extract. When you call in an extract, you have about two minutes to get that hunter cleared and get ready for the helicopter to land. Now, once that helicopter touches down, it's going to give you about 30 seconds to board the helicopter. Once you have boarded the helicopter, you are basically home set free. You will complete all three objectives at once extraction with helicopter, hunter defeated an extraction complete. You'll have all three of those completed and you'll be on your way back to the terminal with all the gear and all the prizes that you've gotten from completing survival. Now while we are on the topic of extracting, let's go ahead and talk about how does the order of extracting affect your score. If you extract first, that is 600 points added to your score. If you want to go for a score run, you need to make sure you are the first ones to extract. So if you see an extraction pop up and you think that you are able to make it there in time, 
before they are able to clear their hunters and get on the helicopter, you need to go there and kill them. That way they do not steal 600 points from you. Now there are numerous ways that you can get other players killed. One of the ways is by going up to an extraction while they are extracting and making extra hunters spawn on them and hoping that they are not geared enough and aware enough to take out the extra hunter. The other way, which is my personal favorite, is you going up there and killing them yourself while also dodging the hunters. Now right here in this clip we actually get lucky because the most popular spot when you extract in DZ2 is sitting up on this rooftop and sniping the hunters, which is why I do not extract in DZ2 whenever I go for my extractions. And this right here is the outcome. 60 seconds to go. So one thing you may be wondering is, how do I get into the DZ quickly without having other people jumping me when I'm trying to farm my gear? Well, we've got the solution for you, and it is coming in right now. So Upper Echelon Gamers and myself are proud to present to you the survival map. This map is going to help you so you know exactly what route to take and how to get into the DZ as quick as possible so that you can start getting all the div tech and being so OP and getting all the gear that you want and crafting all the high end gear that you want before any player can even get in the DZ to even compete with you. This map is going to help you do that. This map is also going to tell you how to get all the med bags so that you can make your timer extend even farther. This is one thing that I've been working on and it is a very, very helpful tool. Now comes the combat column, the most important column of them all. This is how you're going to set that world record is in this column itself. Every kill you get is going to add up to this column. Elites, named, and veterans are worth so many points. If you want to go for that world record just like I did, you have to sit here and you have to clear this column and clear every single NPC in the DZ and even clear some outside of the DZ. You have to literally put it in your mind that you have to clear the entire map in a certain amount of time. You have to clear the entire DZ, every street, every underground, every nick and cranny in the entire DZ. You also have to clear landmarks outside of the DZ in order to get that score really high for a record. So if you want to go for that, you have to kill everything. You have to kill everything quickly as well. Purples, yellows, elites, and named bosses, and all the landmarks, and even the hidden ones that you have to look for, you have to kill everything efficiently and quickly in order for you to even possibly go for that world record run that you're looking for in survival. Add up and equate two yellows and named enemies. So killing purples really quickly is definitely worth doing because they will add up to your score. But yellows and named enemies are definitely the best ones to kill as they provide you the most score. There are hidden yellows on the map in the DZ. So if you can find them, they will add up to your score even more. There are also yellows patrolling the entrances to the DZ in the light zone outside of the DZ at the entrances. So those will actually add up as well. The goal is to kill all the purples as quick as possible, kill all the elites that you're able to find and a couple of them roaming outside of the dark zone entrances and killing all of the named enemies at the landmarks. If you can kill purples really, really quickly and clear them all out, kill a whole bunch of yellows, including some of the hidden ones and some of the roaming ones outside of the dark zone, and you can clear all the named enemies in the dark zone at the landmarks, you will have a very high combat score, which is going to coordinate with a really high survival score. The next thing on our list is the survival column. Now this is your survival time, players revive, thirst, hunger, disease scores, and your cold rating. Now the survival time is obviously going to be extremely long because you're going to be in the DZ for a long time clearing all the landmarks, all the purples, elites, and names, and getting that high score. As for the cold rating, it's very easy to complete. All you need is some gold fabric, go into one of the safe houses, and do just like I'm doing here in the video, crafting a bunch of the highest clothing possible that you can get. Now every time you revive a player, it rewards you with 240 points per player. 
which is a lot. So if you revive somebody after you kill them and then you turn around and kill them again, that's 240 free points. However, most people tend to leave as soon as you kill them. As far as the thirst and hunger, those are actually very easy to maintain. All you gotta do is pop food and water every so often. Whenever it says that you're gonna start getting hungry or thirsty, just use a canned food or an energy bar or a soda or a water. As for the disease score, that is actually very difficult because the score goes down the longer that you're in and the more infected you become. However, you're going to be in there for a long time because you want to kill a lot of AI. And AI kills and NPC kills, especially veterans, elites, and names, are worth more than getting out with that disease score being higher. The next column is the looting column. This is a very easy column to max out in. All you really need to do is have full consumables, so three medicine, three painkiller, three sodas, three water, three energy bar, and three canned foods, and three med kits. You also need to be max gear score, so two gold main weapons, a gold pistol, and all gold gear on. You do not need gold gear mods to be max gear score. Max gear score is 163. So as long as you have max consumables, so three in every spot, in consumables including med kits and you have all gold gear and two gold main weapons and a gold pistol you are at max gear score and your looting category will be perfect hopefully this video was very helpful and insightful and i hope to see you all in survival going for that high score don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel down below i got tons of more content coming here soon don't forget to comment down below what your high score is what your speed run is and let me know what you want to see next and good luck to everybody getting those high scores don't forget to check out upper echelon gamers for their 10 dues in survival have a good one everybody I can't hear